Hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at transforming the trigonometric graphs. So I covered each of these transformations in a previous video, but in this video, we're going to look at how they apply specifically to the sine and cosine graphs. So if we look at example one, we've been given the graph of sine x, and we've been asked to sketch y equals sine of x minus 45 within the range of zero to 360. So if we say that f of x is equal to sine x, what we need to sketch is f of x minus 45. And you can see that this matches up to a horizontal translation. But the question is, does it move to the right or does it move to the left? Well, if we pick the point at the origin, we can see that the sine of x, 0, is equal to zero. So then if we have the sine of x minus 45, our transformed graph equals zero, then this x minus 45 must equal zero. So we can write this as an equation, that x minus 45 equals zero, so x must equal 45. So you can see then that this point of x equaling zero is is translated 45 degrees to the right to this point. So this is a horizontal translation to the right. And we can see how this works using Desmos. We have y equals sine x, and then if we shift this to x minus 45, we can see the whole graph is translating to the right by 45 degrees, okay? Let's try another example. Okay, so for example two, we've got the sketch of y equals cos x, and we've been asked to sketch y equals cos x plus one. So if we say that f of x equals cos x, what we're looking for is f of x plus one. So you can see we're looking at a vertical translation. But then the question is, does it move upwards or downwards? Well, if we look at this point, we know that the cos of x equaling zero will equal one. So when we look at our transformed graph, we'll have y is equal to the cos of zero plus one. We know that cos of zero is one, so y will equal two when x is equal to zero. So we'll plot the transformed point at zero two. So you can see this is a vertical translation going upwards. And again, we can visualize this on Desmos. We have our f of x. And as we go f of x plus one, you can see this is being translated vertically upwards to the point zero two. Okay, let's try another example. So in example three, again, we've been given sine x and we've been asked to sketch y equals two sine x. So f of x will equal sine x. So our transformation will be two f of x. So you can see that this will be a vertical stretch, but will it stretch it outwards or will it compress it downwards? So if we try the origin, we know the sine of x zero is zero, but when we multiply this by two, well, the two sine of zero is still zero. So this point will be invariant, it will map onto itself. If we try a different point, let's say 90 degrees, the sine of 90 is equal to one. So two multiplied by the sine of 90, which is two lots of one, must equal two. So the transformed point will be 90 and two. So you can see that this will be a vertical stretch going upwards. If we go to death mass to visualize this, as we increase the value of a to two, you can see the graph is stretching upwards to the point 90 and two, okay? Let's try one more example. Okay, so finally, for example four, we have the sketch of cos of x, and we've been asked to sketch cos of 3x. So in function notation, this will be f of 
Factory X, which is a horizontal stretch. And to see whether it compresses it inwards or outwards, we'll pick a point. The cos of zero is one. So the cos of three X must equal one. So therefore 3x must equal 0, so x would also equal 0. So this would be transformed onto itself. If we pick 90 degrees again, the cos of 90 will equal 0. So the cos of 3x will equal 0, which means 3x must equal 90, so x must equal 30, which is about this point. So you can see that this is a compression where it's stretching it inwards. And we can visualize this. So we have f of x and as a increases you can see there's a compression inwards. So we have three complete cycles for our transformation. Okay? Well thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com.